Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your cursor into a button when hovering an element using Divi. Here are the results we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing I need to do is to create a brand new page. But before we do that, you need to make sure you're running Divi because this tutorial is based on the Divi theme. All right, so I'm going to come over here and add a new page by clicking here. So you can name this page whatever you want. So I'm just going to say mouse and then click on use Divi Builder. So for this tutorial, we're going to build everything from scratch. So we're going to start off by creating a column. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch and then I'm going to add a single column. I'm going to close this for now and then go into our section settings. Over here, we need to add a white background. So just make sure that you click anywhere in here and add white as your background color. Next, we need to add a top and bottom padding. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on spacing. So our top padding needs to be 80 pixels, but the bottom needs to be zero. So make sure you add these values because we just want to create some space inside this section. All right, so now that we've done this, I'm going to go ahead now and save. And then I can now create my columns. So initially, I started off with one column. In fact, we need to go in and make it two columns. So I'm going to click here to set our two columns. That's going to be our column structure. Right. So the next thing we need to do is to go in and add a maximum width. So I'm going to click here on my row settings, design, sizing. So for our maximum width here by default, it's 1080. We need to make it 2580. Next, let's head over to our spacing. So here we're going to add a top and bottom padding of zero pixels. I'm just going to activate this change so I can add the same value both to the top and the bottom. Right. So the next thing now we need to add an image module to column one. So let's go ahead and save this. So I'm going to click on this plus button, search for my image module. And here it is. I'm going to add my image by clicking here. So the image I'm going to use is this one right here, but you can, of course, use any image. But take note of these dimensions. I'll be using 1600 by 1067. So make sure you use the same dimensions to get similar results. All right, so that's good. I'm going to click upload an image. Now, if you want to link this image, what you can do is to come over here and add your link like that. Next, we're going to come over here on design. So what we need to do here is to go to transform because we need to zoom in on uh, when we mouse over it. So we're going to now come over here on this little icon. So this is the hover icon. So I'm going to click here on this tab, making sure I'm on the hover and I'm going to set this to 90. OK, so this is going to be the normal size. And when you hover, it's going to be this size. Next, we're going to add a CSS class on our image. So I'm going to come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And our class here is going to be called image cursor. So make sure you have it this way. So now it's time to save. I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, while we're in column one, we also need to add a text module. I'm going to search for it and select it. I'm just going to use my dummy text in here like that. So let's set this to heading three by clicking on this drop down like that. Now we need to customize this text by coming over here to design. Now, remember, we set this to heading three. So one of the easiest ways is, is to just click on this pen brush icon. This will take you to heading three settings. OK, so here we're going to uh, first of all set our font and our font is going to be called actor. I'm going to select that. Next, we're going to set our color. We're going to make sure this is black. And then for our text size, I'm going to set this to 35 pixels. And for our line height, I'm going to set this to 1.4. And now let's head over to our spacing. So here, what we need to do is to add 15 pixels to the bottom and that needs to be on the margins. So here it looks like we have, a, I mean, we have too much text. So I'm going to go back over here and just get rid of paragraph here like that. All right. So pretty much that's all we need to do for now. I'm going to save this. Now we also need another text module here. So I'm going to click on this plus button and search for the text module and select it. Next, we're going to add our text in here. So in your case, you need to add the text that works with your design. Now let's go over here to the design tab text and we need to change our font here to actor just like how we did before. I'm going to select it. Now this one here is a bit different. It needs a text color. I'm going to come over here to this eyedropper tool and paste my color like that. Next, we're going to set our size. So let's scroll down and set this to 22. Our letter spacing here needs to be at 0 0.5. 
and our line height needs to be 2 em. All right, so that's what we need to do for now. So I'm going to save. Next, we're going to add a button. So I'm going to hover over here, click this plus button and add my button module. So we can add our text in here. You can add whatever text you want, but I'm going to say go to project. We also need to add a button link here. But in your case, you need to make sure you link this to the actual project. Now let's head over to the button settings and customize this button. So what you need to do now in the design tab is to come over here to button. Make sure you activate use custom styles for button. And we need to now add our text color. And for our text color, we need to set this to black. So I'm going to click here on the eyedropper tool and paste my color like that. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Now let's head over to the button border width. So currently it's set at two pixels. We need to set it to zero. For our button border radius, it's at three. We need to set this to one. Now let's head over to the button font. Just to keep our consistency, let's set it to actor. So I'm going to select that. Now it's time to add our icon. So I'm going to set it like that. And we also need to go to our icon placement. Let's set this to the left and only show on hover. Let's say no to that. So now our arrow is always showing on the button there. Let's, add a, let's head over now to the spacing and let's add a bottom margin. We're going to set this to 80. And for our bottom padding, we're going to set this to 20. And for the right padding, we're going to set this to 30. So now we're just giving our button here a bit of breathing space. Now let's head over to the box shadow. So for this, we're going to go with uh, this design here. And then for our box shadow horizontal position, which is this one, the first one, let's set this to zero. For our vertical position, I'm going to set this to two. And let's also add our color here. So right now it has transparency. I'm going to drag the slider all the way up to the top. And now you can see we have a straight line. So pretty much we're good to go. I'm going to save this. So right now, we, if we go now to our row settings, we have two columns. This one here does not have anything in it. So let's delete it just so that we can duplicate this because we want to save us a lot of time. So I've just duplicated it and then I am going to save this. And now I'm just going to duplicate the whole row. Okay, so I duplicate it like that. And now we have four of these. So this just makes the design process really fast. So all you have to do now is to go in and change the images in there uh, just to suit your other content. So let me just show you quickly how you can do that. So I've clicked on the image there. I'm going to go in here and choose a different image. So to add your image, you can just click on it like that, upload image, and your image gets uploaded. Okay, so pretty much that's all we need to do here, but we're not done yet because we need to add our cursor. So what we're going to do now is to add a new row to our design. So I'm going to come over here and click on this plus button. We need a single column. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. So before we add any modules, let's go in and make some adjustments. So I'm going to click here on row settings. So what we need to do first, we need to go to this design tab, click on spacing, and we need to add a top and bottom padding of zero like that and then save. Next, we're going to click here on this plus button, add a text module. So this is the text module that's going to have our text, which is going to also be our cursor. So let's call this learn more. So that's going to be the text. Now let's head over to our background here and give it a background color. I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool, paste my color in here like that. Now let's come over here to the design tab and customize our text. So I'm going to start off by setting our font here. And uh, this is going to be actor. So I'm using the same font throughout the whole design just for consistency's uh, purposes. Here, I'm going to set this to bold and I also need to set my text color. So I'm going to go to my recent colors here. Okay, so I thought I had white. So, okay, let's just go back and let's choose white as our main color here. So now you can see our text is easier to read in there. And uh, let's also add letter spacing. So right now it's at zero, let's set it to two. And our text alignment, set this to center. And we also need to make it all caps. There we go. Now let's go to the sizing because we need to set up our width and height. So over here, we're gonna set our width, set it to 150. And we're also going to set our height to 150. Next, let's go to our border. So here we're gonna add 100 pixels to all the sides. 
So now we have a perfect circle. Next, let's head over to our box shadow. So for this, I'm going to choose this option here. So for our shadow blur strength, we're going to set this to zero. For our spread strength, we're going to set this to 20. And now it's time to set our color. So I'm going to come over here and making sure I paste my values between the brackets. That's going to be the color. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same color as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Now, let's add our class, our CSS class. It's going to be called Cursor. So I'm going to come over here to Advanced, CSS ID and Classes. And for this class, it's going to be called Cursor, like that. We're going to save that. In fact, before we save, we need to add some CSS code. Now, this CSS code can be found in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So I've just copied the code and I'm going to come over here to custom CSS. So this needs to go into the main element. So we need to add our brackets here and they're called style. So for this to work, just make sure you have the open opening and closing styles. So this is what makes this work for us. Okay, so now that we have this, now let's head over to design and we're going to go to our position. In fact, it's back over here on the advanced tab. So to go to our position, we need to come over here. And first of all, let's set our Z index to 2. And um, for our position, we need to set this to fixed. And making sure we set it to the top right. So that's where it needs to be. So now that we've added everything that we need here, we are going to need some code to make this work. So I'm going to save this. And now it's time to add another code module just behind or just below the text module. So this is going to be a code module. So I'm going to select it. So the first thing we need to do is to add our style and script tags. So I'm going to go ahead and type them in. So this is style and the other one needs to be script. So now we're going to start with the CSS code. So again, I'm back on my blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below to grab the code. So the code needs to go in between the two style tags like that. Next, we're going to need the jQuery code. So again, I'm going to copy it and paste it between the style tag. Actually, this needs to be script. So it needs to be between the script tags. So I'm going to paste it like that. So pretty much we're good to go. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save the page. And then we're going to exit the Visual Builder and take a look at our design now. So you can see now our mouse is following this on our site. And when I do that, you can see it's zooming in as well. So now it is working OK. Go ahead, try it out and see how it works for you. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.